Well, I survived the night. Uh, I got up at 11.30 and adjusted my feet on my hammock. Uh, and then I made it to 4.30. I got up, went to the bathroom, was going to put a log on the fire, but everything was completely out. So instead of walking over here, I just went right back to bed. Uh, Dad's down there. We got a fire going this morning. A little one so far. Again, we just got up. It's uh, a beautiful morning out here. Beautiful day so far. Now it's time to make some coffee. All right, I'm gonna lose my battery in a minute here. But uh, we got the fire going. Got my coffee made. And I'm redoing my eggs right now. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of crappy because the lens. Um, but yeah, that's my eggs that I'm re rehydrating. The chili that I rehydrated was phenomenal. Um, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I will be doing that on every backpacking trip. Uh, all right, I had my breakfast. I uh, had a little bit of the eggs in Trudiso. It was all right. Next time, do more eggs. Uh, thinking probably like four or five eggs to the to the half a log of Chidiso. Um Yeah, it uh, dehydrated or rehydrated pretty good. Uh, it was a little hard. The eggs seemed a little bit hard, so I'll let them simmer a little bit more next time. Uh, right now, we're just sitting here. Now we're going to uh, eat a little bacon. Now, nobody tell the doctor I'm eating bacon. This is in the uh, fire, hang on here, firebox stove um, kit that I have. Uh, nice fry pan and handle there. I know you said you're not paying on bacon, but. Oh no, I, I, no protein. I'm okay with, I just, if it was up to me, I would have, I know, don't shoot me camera, don't shoot me people, don't leave comments nasty about bacon. If it was up to me though, I would rather have sausage. I just like the consistency of sausage. But I love bacon. You need help with anything? Nope, I'm gonna. Okay. Well, you could maybe open another V and throw it in my cup and then I'll. Well, I can do that. Pour some. When I'm ready after the eggs, I'll pour some hot water in it and have a good hot cup of coffee with it. I can do that. You use a full pack in that little thing? Yeah. Yeah, I use two packs it's, in mine. Yeah. I mean, it's strong, but I like it that way. So this is a kooks, what the heck's this called? Kooksa. I think they're Swedish or, I don't know, that one. Yeah. So, question, everybody. Do you prefer the kooksa or a titanium cup? Leave a comment. Let me know. All right. Do I need Heart to get, attack eggs right here. Do I need here. to get the canteen um, for more water? It's under the my tarp there. <coughs> How much is in that thing there? Oh, I'll grab it. I'm going to heat mine up. Eggs cooked in bacon grease. Don't try this at home. You going to have some eggs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did break my chair. Yeah, I broke the leg on one of these, on this chair, so after I broke it, I thought, wow, dummy, if you would have put some bark underneath the legs, they wouldn't have sunk in and maybe broke. So I guess that's my next question. What do you guys prefer for chairs? All right, so I need three more carabiners to add to my list. Uh, I use a Chill Gorilla Underquilt. I did start the, the fire this morning. And I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's the old uh, the Mora knife. I started it. It was worked out well. I highly recommend. Again, this is something that I saw on Joe Robinette. He, uh, he used it when he first started, and it's a cheap, 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 great beginner knife. I think I got this for thirty-six bucks with the with the uh, fire steel on Amazon. Sorry, where do you want the eggs at? Oh, that's good. Yeah, we should have got out your whisper lights. I'd like yeah. to see that. Yeah. Especially if Andy needs a stove. But I have that one that I showed you. It's big. It takes the same fuel. I don't want two, two of the stoves that have the same fuel. So that's the third question. What is everybody's way to cook? 
I have a jet boil. I have pocket rocket. My dad's got a white gas, what's it called? Whisper light. Uh, or cook on the fire. Uh, what's everybody prefer? Uh, I've always been, my jet boil has been my go-to. It was the first trip I didn't bring my jet boil, and uh, I'm very happy I didn't. Jet boils are great if you like just to boil water and drink coffee. But if you need to simmer stuff, I, I've always had a hard time simmering with the jet boil. So again, let me know what you guys think. Uh, yeah. yeah and I usually prefer fire, but these uh, egg beaters, I don't know. Um, I haven't used my whisper light, to tell you the truth. I have a little propane stove as well. Um, but yeah, I typically prefer fire. I do have a stick stove too. Those just work pretty well, depending on what you want to cook and things like that. Oh yeah, I forgot the stick stoves. Yeah, that's a good one. Right. So what is that? A little container you stick like you it's just yeah. And you, yeah. A little titanium. Well, that worked out pretty good on that fire. There they are. Yummy. Time for breakfast. All right. That's all right. <laughs> this about, is going home. I didn't even think about that. This is going home to be cleaned. I'm not doing that's, it out here. That's plenty. That's good. Good? Yep. See, doctor, I only had one piece of bacon. All righty. Get some coffee going here. Your fork way over there. Yeah. You don't have those tortillas handy, do you? Huh? Those tortillas, are they sitting right next to you? Oh, yeah. Somewhere. Right here. Yeah, I didn't bring the ghee. That would have been good to throw on top of that tort. Marty and I hammered those in the Adirondacks. Ghee. Clarified butter or something like that. They call it. Another question. If you're diabetic, whether you're type 1 or type 2 at this point, I don't. doesn't matter to me. Uh, what is your preferred meals? What do you do for snacks on a trip like this. Uh, you know, a canoe trip, something long distance. What are you guys eating? Uh, I'm type two diabetic and I'm trying to learn my triggers and that kind of thing, so. Yeah, I'm guessing it's probably 25, maybe 28. Oh, I'm thinking closer, yeah. It's pretty warm out. It is. Pretty warm out. Guys, yeah, slept great, I got warm. Drank tea and stuff yeah, drank, last night. We drank a lot of water too. Yep, yeah, we drank a lot of water. We drank some tea. We didn't try melting any snow, uh, which obviously we could easily do. There's enough snow here. Hmm. Was that the full carton of egg beaters? Yeah. And actually, I think they were just Walmart brand, great value or something. Mm -hmm. uh, farm fresh eggs, made by, uh, oh, it is egg beaters. Oh, wow. Yep, give me credit, yep, it's egg beaters. Of course, my wife Renee packed the food for us. Tortillas are good. We well, didn't get the shits from your chili last night. No. Yeah, so I rehydrated chili that I had dehydrated back on August 11th. It was March 2 yesterday. Um. Never froze, it just kept it out in my shed. And I was a little suspect because it had uh, ground venison. But all good. So now I know you can keep that stuff for at least seven months. Still rehydrate it and be fine. So 
If there was sausage in it with fat, I probably wouldn't have eaten it and kept it that long. But since venison's so lean, I wasn't too worried about uh, any rancid meat in there. Last night we heard the damnedest thing. Sitting out here dead quiet. And in the distance you can hear a train. Now we've hunted pretty close to here, maybe a couple miles from here. Sat out there all day. A couple days. Never, ever, ever heard a train. Closest train tracks I can think of are in Custer. Uh, right by Sanders Meat there. <clears throat> So yeah, I don't know. It was weird. So that's got to be 18 miles as a crow fly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe more. Yeah. 20, 20 something. So yeah, it was, uh, and it was pretty loud. Uh, the first one uh, that I heard, I thought I was going crazy because my dad couldn't hear it, and the second one he heard it, and so I knew I wasn't going crazy. Just, just so you know, this campsite is not. To the standard, my wife. Man, it's gonna be hotter than hell. Why? Because I just put boiling water in it. Um, the standard of cleanliness, my wife would like. There's stuff all over. I don't want to ruin your pan. But, oh, don't worry. Here, I got a scraper in that thing. Play the Sherpa gear. Nice. Oh, man. Oh, that bag shot. That's all right. Didn't open it anyway. Piece of crap. I think those dollar store bags. Yeah, don't get too anal about it, cause I'm gonna. Like I say, that's a. Is this a scraper? Clean it when I get home. Is this a scraper off of George Foreman? Yeah. <laughs> I pampered something on Yeah. You want? It? No, those are Pampered Chef, I believe. I'm sure they are. Okay. We just didn't say that on camera. You can take his man card. <laughs> hey, they got good stuff. Can I say? These are too, I believe. No, these are a couple bucks at Myers. These fuel canisters, as far as I can see, I do this I, so it doesn't get cold. Uh, but these fuel canisters, I got a couple of them with me. These were purchased in 2007, 2007 or 8. And again, they're all open because I don't use one until it's gone. I, if I go on a trip, I grab a brand new one. Bad habit. I need to mark how often <laughs> I use it. Because I got 20 of these open. 